puente de Ares. En la Sanzambuel, has de negociar por Taquito. En el poder de Tilianes, get the influence over some authorities in Beijing in those days. He traveled to China 16 times. And uh, during his last visit, the 16th visit, short visit, but uh, two days after, we yeah. lost this turbo ratio. Maybe he should explain to the nation how he got that kind of an influence to be able to reach out to the higher ups in China. Yo, what's up mga Lods? It's Megan Peps TV. Welcome back po sa YouTube channel. Ito na po mga Lods. Lumilit na po ang uh, kanilang mundo ni Trillanes at saka ni Pinoy para po dito sa usapin ng uh, West Philippine Sea. Kagawa na po ng paraan o hakbang ni PRRD. Kasama po dito si former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile. Uh, Papaimbestigahan na po nila ito nangyari po talaga sa West Philippine Sea. Pero bago po tayo magsimula mga Lods, kung bago lang kayo sa YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. And click nyo rin po yung notification bell para lagi kayo ma-update sa mga video gaya nito. Ayun nga po, kaganinang madaling araw po, eh, napag-usapan po dito ang isyo ng West Philippine Sea. At dito po natin mapapatunayan na talagang minaniobra po nila Pinoy, Trillanes, at saka ni Del Rosario. Ito pong usapin po dyan po sa Scarborough Shore. Para po maging malinaw sa inyo mga lods, ito po, ginawan ko po ng video. Pinast forward po natin yung uh, video na to para hindi po kayo mainip. Ayan po mga lods, tunghayan po natin ang pahayag po ni PRRD at saka ni former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile sa usapin po na ito. At malalaman po natin na talagang uh, hindi na po makakalusot si Trillanes at saka si Pinoy sa ginawa po nilang pagmananeobra dito. Di o mano sa usapin po ng West Philippine Sea. Ito na po mga lods, panuari po natin. Sir, at uh... In the early days of my administration, I announced a change of the direction of our foreign policy from being pro-Western to just neutral. Just uh, playing it safe in the meantime because it, uh, there might be really a trouble a brewing. So, now, nandito lang ako sa gitna. That's the reason why I, I went to China and I was prudent enough to bring along my cabinet members at the time, early days. Some of them are now here Mga, yung mga military sir, uh, General Anio was then uh, General uh, Chief of Staff. Uh, Delphine Lorenzana, Secretary Lorenzana was uh, uh, my dear in the... Pati marami, maraming Esperon was there sir. So just to make sure. And pointedly, I said to uh, President Xi Jinping, in front of everybody, two panels uh, opposite each other. Sabi ko, Mr. President, uh, there was a long discussion. But I said, Mr. President, uh, I know that uh, we have conflicting claims. But, uh, you know, I have uh, plans of going to the West Philippine Sea to dig my oil. At tapos, sir, ang sagot ni President Xi Jinping, almost in whisper. Parang ganito, sir, magkakarap. Sabi niya, in front of the witnesses that I brought along, just to make sure that I will be correct all the time, be prudent about it. Sabi ko, uh, magdig ako ng oil. Sabi niya, in whisper, you know, Mr. President, please do not do that. Will please, please, please do not do that. You will just sort up or, you know, we have a new beginning here, new friendship found. But if you do that, he said, he said in the, the almost whisper, there will be trouble. So, uh, ito lang, Mr. President. Ito eh, sinasabi ko hindi dahil ako eh, anti-American. Hindi ako po eh, kwan. Hindi anti-American. Sa mga Amerikano, marami akong kaibigan at uh, meron akong apo na Amerikana. Ngayon, iba yung mga uh, mga American citizens sa kanilang gobyerno eh. Sa kanila yung gobyerno nila, national interest palagi ang pinagbabatayan nila ng galaw nila sa uh, larangan ng uh, relasyon ng mga bansa. Sa totoo lang, Sa karanasan ko bilang Secretary of National Defense nung panahon ni Presidente Marcos, hindi natin maasahan ang Amerika sa mga ganitong usapin. Nung Secretary of Defense ako po, nung kasagsagan ng Vietnam War ng Amerika, humihingi kami ng delivery ng Amerika ng 2,500 Armalikes. 2,500 na Armalikes lang po ang kailangan namin doon para labanan namin ang mga nanggugulo sa ating bansa dito sa Luzon at ganoon din sa Mindanao. Sapagkat noon, ang mga baril lang namin ay Carbin at Garant. 
At ang aming pwersa noon ay eh, 48,000 lang po ang kabuuan ng sundalo natin. Nandyan na ang PC, nandyan na ang Air Force, nandyan na ang Army, nandyan na ang Navy, nandyan na ang Coast Guard. Ngayon, pumunta kami ni Presidente Marcos doon sa Clark Field. Isang araw, tanghali yun. Dahil dumating yung si Admiral Gaylord ng 7th Fleet na nakabase sa Hawaii. At sinihingi namin ang delivery ng 2,500 na uh, armaray para sa uh, ar militar natin. Ay sabi niya sa akin, hindi low priority kayo sapagkat kailangan namin ng baril sa Vietnam. Sabi namin, eh meron kami problema dito, eh kailangan namin na uh, ang ipinangako ninyo. So madalit salita po, hindi kami nakakuha. Kaya dahil dun sa karanasan na yun, bilang sekretaryo ng kalihim ng Department of Defense noong mga panahon na yun, sinabi, may minungkahi ko kay Presidente Marcos kung ganito ang trato sa atin ng Amerika, nandito ang base militar nila. May kasunduan tayo under the Mutual Defense Treaty. Hindi tayo matulungan sa 2,500 Armalite. Mabuti ba, bumili na rin tayo ng baril natin pag bayarin natin sila ng renta sa base militar nila at yung renta nila ang pamilya natin. Huwag na tayong aasa na ibibigyan nila sa atin. At dahil doon, ang ginawa ko, para magkaroon kami tayo ng baril, kinausap ko si Do Dr. Go Keng Sui ng Singapore. He was my counterpart. He was the Minister of, Pub of uh, uh, Defense, of Defense Minister of Singapore. Meron silang cold factory doon noong araw. Humingi ako ng baril sa kanya. Nakakuha kami ng mga old model ng cold. Wala pa yung kagaya ng mga Armalite na yun. Noon eh, merong binobomba para kung nag-stoppage yung mga baril. I was able to do, get 10,000 uh, pieces of long arms from Singapore. And uh, I got the ammunition from Taiwan. Uh, kaibigan ko si General Luego, kapatid ni Chang Chinko. He was the head of the arsenal of Taiwan. And I was able to get the bullets from him. Kaya, ang kapalit naman doon na binigay namin sa Singapore na pabor ay eh, nag-istasyon sila ng isang squadron ng kanilang Air Force dito sa Clark natin at uh, for training purposes. Kaya na, naagapan namin ang siguridad ng bansa dito sa Luzon at sa Mindanao ng mga panahon na yun. Kaya kung aasa tayo sa tulong ng Amerika, lalo na ngayon, magulo sila sa Amerika, at marami silang problema. Nandiyan ang problema sa Gaza at, is, at uh, Israel at uh, Palestine, Palestine ngayon. At ganoon din, umaalma ang uh, Russia. Eh, palagay ko, kahit napupunta tayo sa UN, mag-iisa ng resolusyon ang uh, UN. Eh, aasahan ng UN na magpapairal doon eh. Amerika din. O yung, yung may mga kakayahan. At palagay ko, sa panahon na ito, walang bansa na pwedeng makaya ang China. Kaya tama yung posture ninyo na kausapin ang China dito sa bagay na ito. Huwag gagamitin ng emosyon at init ng ulo. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I would like to explain to the nation that uh, sometimes I must, be, I must admit that I am, I am harsh with my, my words. Eh, that is my nature and I cannot change it at this time. Gusto nilang ipasa sa akin yung uh, to attribute uh, to me against me yung pagkakamali nila. Siguro kailangan malaman natin kung si Sambaga nang galing yung koneksyon ni Trillanes sa Beijing. Paano siya nagkaroon ng koneksyon doon? Ni mismo ako. Naging guest ako ng Beijing. Wala akong koneksyon na gagagayin ni Trillianus. Paano siya nagka nagkaroon ng koneksyon na gano'n na pwede niyang lapitan ang mga pinuno ng China nung panahon na yun? Pati Presidente Aquino palagay ko, wala siyang gano'ng koneksyon. Bakit si Trillianus ay nagkaroon ng koneksyon na gano'n? Yun ang isang misteryo na hanggang ngayon dapat malaman kung anong kasagutan. Ah. You know, I do not demean or uh, uh, belittle our armed forces. 
ang ang akin lang sir it is really a wonder to me why of course it's only president uh, Aquino who can answer it why he chose a military man to do the back channeling and the problem is it was uh, uh, so so secretive almost uh, so gross a type of negotiation that was kept uh, secret and you can name the people do the you, you can we can insist on uh, knowing the people pero yung tataguan mo sir yung anong developments doon and this is really my 64 dollar question to everybody the mystery mr president to me was quite the honest and not some, someone else from the military from why, the foreign service why clearly honest of of the senators who were incumbent at the time why was Trillanes selected as the negotiator for Aquino and where did Trillanes get the influence over some authorities in Beijing in those days yes sir I understand that, that is the puzzle to me he traveled to China 16 times and uh, during his last visit the, the 16th visit Short deserve this uh, two days after we yes. lost this carbono show. Maybe he should explain to the nation uh, how he got that kind of an influence to be able to reach out to the higher ups in China. Not just anybody can talk to any member of the Politburo of China. He must have been a very influential person in China to be able to do his work as he did. And how did he acquire that influence? I, that is a mystery to me, Mr. President. So with me, sir, I would say, so, uh, dapat, uh, one of these days, yeah, maybe the Filipino people should demand uh, the truth. Yes, if yes. they cannot get it from the mouth of Trillanes, because maybe it will be a self-preservation thing, then at least uh, some people in the foreign ministry, especially uh, our ambassador at the time, uh, Ambassador uh, Brady can explain because, uh, as, uh, as I understand from you earlier, there, uh, he, he was not allowed by Trillanes to take notes. Alam mo kasi sir, ganito yan para sa mamalaman ng mga taong Pilipino. Kagaya ngayon, nandito kami. Sa likod natin, yun yung mga stenog, yung ambassadors, pati yung mga stenographer, kumukuha ng record. So, maybe uh, I learned from you earlier na Trillanes uh, did not allow him to take notes. Ang, 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 ang problema ko dyan, Mr. President, bakit si Trillanes? Pangalawa, bakit binaypas niya yung embahada natin sa Beijing? At sa impression ko, pati si Del Rosario, nakalihim ng foreign affairs noon, ay eh, binaypas din niya. Wala, walang kabangbang si Si Kuni, si Del Rosario doon sa meeting na yun na tungkol doon sa pinag-usapan sa Beijing. Ngayon, at nasan na yung sunat naman ni Brady? Dahil binigyan ako ni Del Rosario ng kopya, ah, nawala na, marami kasi ako record, wala na kong panahon na tumingin doon sa aking mga, mag, rumkat doon sa aking mga records. Eh, nasa kanya yun, copy lang yung, yung binigay sa akin eh. O, oh. Bakit wala sa Department of Foreign Affairs yung kasulatan na yun? Dapat nandun yun. Only files. Official yeah. record yun eh. Official. Yeah, correct sir. Uh, yun nga ang problema natin. Uh, there is a monkey wrench in arriving at the truth. And that is really what happened in the negotiations. And why? Uh, oh, bakit nag-atras tayo? What prompted uh, Aquino or upon host advice because I do not think that President Aquino would just decide on his own uh, when he knows nothing about it, even the negotiations.